Well, here we are at the Delaware Jet Factory. I just uh, finished programming and pretty much the build on this uh, Skymaster uh, R Plus Pro F-16. It is quite a large plane. It's uh, 120.5 inches long. Wingspan is 80, 80 and a half inches, and the weight, the design weight, is somewhere between 45 and 48 pounds. I have not weighed it yet. The power is a P200. It's controlled by a Futaba radio uh, with a uh, power box SRS uh, system with the built-in GPS and uh, a gyro and a landing gear uh, sequencer. Very easy to set up. Uh, so I'll go through the basic flight functions first. There's a lot of accessories on this plane. It has these two large elevators, just like the real one. The hinge in the middle. Now, these, these can also be programmed as A elevators, but uh, for the first flight, this plane is just regular, regular uh, elevators. The rudder is pretty much normal. And of course, uh, there's a program in the in the plane that operates the uh, nose gear, and when the nose the front nose gear for steering, and when the when the gears are retracted, um, of course that's uh, inhibited from running. The wings on this plane are very interesting. It has uh, normal ailerons, left and right. And then it has leading edge slats. That's the takeoff position, and that's landing position. So here again, flying, takeoff, and landing. And in, in all positions, the ailerons, even though they're working as flaps, still function as ailerons. So that's takeoff, and that's flying. This is a better, a better, a better view of the leading edge slats. Here again, that's flying, takeoff, landing. Flying, takeoff, landing. It makes the wing, uh, it gives a lot more lift, and uh, pretty neat, pretty neat feature. The real plane has this. If you if you look at pictures of them on, whenever they post pictures of F-16s, you can see these things working when they take off and land, and and sometimes on a flyby. This also has an operating canopy, and there's two separate systems here. There's a lock, and then there's a, a, a ram that opens the canopy. So it unlocks first, and then it opens. And then, of course, for the reverse. So that second little thump you hear is uh, the locking mechanism. Very important so it doesn't fly open in flight. Pretty neat. Uh, I should add the blue tape on this plane is just on there to protect uh, some of the fragile uh, lenses and, and things that are you know don't want to get scratched during the building. I'll open it again. Unlock. Open. Close. Lock. This plane also has a set of air brakes in the back, and it's just like a scale detail. The real one has the same thing. They open up. There's a top and a bottom that open. You can see the top in this picture. And then they close. Brake, no brake. And another cool thing, another cool thing, an afterburner ring. This is a set of LED lights that operate with the throttle. So I have it adjusted so they come on at about half throttle. And of course, as you go to full throttle, it gets brighter and brighter. Pretty neat. Easy to install. 
pretty pretty effective. It will obviously be very visible from the, from the back of the plane as it flies away. Another thing the plane has is a lighting system that duplicates the full scale. So in, uh, in stage one, uh, the blinkers come on. And stage two, uh, some of the other lights come on, position lights. I'll go to the back of the plane so you can uh, see that back there. Okay, stage one, some blinkers come on. And then the position lights come on. These are really bright. Lots of stuff on this plane, but uh, it'll be spectacular in the air. The landing gear uh, is very scale-like. Uh, SkyMesh did a good job duplicating the real plane. Uh, and the gears come down, the landing lights come on, and of course when they go back up, the landing lights go back off. And of course, the, the front nose gear moves with the rudder. And then when it goes up, it's disabled. So we'll put them back up. There's another view from the front so you can see the lights better. There's lights on the front door and they're harder to see, but there's some on the back door. Okay, here's a better, here's a better of the gear doors, uh, the, the gear and the, and the lights from underneath. So there's a bright ones in the front and then there's, there's one on each door in the back, which is duplicates the scale plane going up. So that's it for that's it for I run the turbine, which uh, should be tomorrow. I'm gonna run the turbine and uh, test the smoke system. So uh, quite a project. Should look spectacular in the air and uh, flies as good as it looks. So it'll be a winner. So from the Delaware Jet Factory, over and out.